Welcome to Lowdown with Liz Glass. How are you today, Melissa? Very good. Thank you so much, Liz. Thanks for having me here. Thank you so much for joining me. Can you please tell everybody where you're from and tell us a little bit about your market? Yeah, absolutely. So Liz, I work in the suburbs of North Atlanta. So that's Atlanta, Georgia, the ATL uh, for some of you. Um, I work primarily in the suburbs, mostly because Atlanta is huge and the suburbs are um, pretty compact. So from my suburb location to downtown Atlanta, it's about 25 minutes, under 30 minutes. And on most days, it could take you probably an hour to get there. So I live and work the verbs, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so tell me, what's going on in your market? What kind of opportunities are you seeing right now? Wow, you know, if the buyers have, have left the market, um, they're coming back. And I think that's the biggest opportunity right now for both buyers and sellers is those buyers that stepped out during the craziness of the pandemic um, with the multiple offers and the sky high prices. Right now, the opportunity is for those buyers that were renting to jump back in. And the sellers are still going to be benefiting right now, in my honest opinion, because those buyers are still looking and they're still serious buyers. They just couldn't compete on that massive level. So now the level has been adjusted with the craziness, still high, but um, I, I just think the buyers really just have an opportunity right now to capitalize on what we've got going on. Absolutely, I agree with you. They, they have a little room to breathe. They can be a little bit more selective rather than saying, I have to pick this house in this minute and go 50,000 over. Right, you know, right. The and the buyers, it was really rough. It is. And I will tell you, even just this last week um, in my own market, I put a, a very reasonably priced listing on the market and I really was honest with my sellers. I said, listen, I have no idea where this is going to go. Where six months ago, I could have told you textbook, this is what's going to happen. Um, wasn't really sure. We did get a good handful of showings, not back to back and not from dawn to dusk, but a good handful of showings. So I would say maybe we had 15 showings and we got five offers. Oh, that's beautiful. So you see, and, the market is still, it's still very strong for sellers. And like you said, how right. so many buyers ran away and now the sellers are realizing we want to, you know, they're still going to get top dollar for the house. Maybe not the crazy pandemic numbers. Absolutely. We're like a true pandemic. Absolutely. And I think if you, if you look at it in terms of, I mean, we always talk about seller's market and a buyer's market, right? So if you look at this from a, buyer's market or seller's market, we are still in a seller's market. What we dealt with during the pandemic, two years in my market, we went from having like three months of inventory to having two weeks of inventory, right? Not even a week of inventory in some places they were going so fast. Now we've gone back to about 1.8 months of inventory, but you and I both know that anything under four months on that is going to be a seller's market. So we have a long way to go to make it a more like level playing field. The short story is we still have sellers that want to sell. There's still few. And we still have buyers that want to buy, but just have less competition. Right. So and that's, you, you explained that perfectly. So I hope that anybody thinking of buying or anybody thinking of selling listens to exactly what you're saying. Yeah, and absolutely. I I mean, is, what so many a, people need is the clarity. It's everybody's running with fear. And it is. There's no reason to run with fear. Everybody says, oh, the market's going to crash. No, it won't. Um, and we can go through all the economics of that. But the short story is the opportunity. The question at hand is, is there opportunity in your market? Yes. I really honestly think so. And I think that buyers that are still going to take advantage, even at the increased rates that we're seeing right now, buyers can still take advantage of serious sellers that are on the market. And sellers their advantage right now is that those buyers are not coming in saying, oh, well, if I don't find what I want, I'll just rent. They've been renting and they're done renting. Right. Absolutely. Right. And, you know, it's interesting. Somebody said to me yesterday, um, everybody's concerned because it went from three to set three percent to six percent. Yeah. Renting, you're paying 100 percent. You're getting right. nothing. You're getting no equity. So, right. you know, even at six percent, right. they're still historically low. People are just like, oh, but I really like those three percent rates. That's unheard of. And we probably. Right. We'll never see that again. Right. And I try to remind people, I mean, it, we've been through both markets, right? We went through the amazing, like, oh my gosh, crash, right? Um, or what we call the real estate recession. And we've been through the pandemic crazy buying. We've been through both, right? Um, and 
doesn't, for me, interest rates don't mean it's a good or a bad real estate market. People buy and sell homes 12 months out of the year, no matter what the interest rates are, people have to move, right? It's just on which level they're going to be moving, right? When you buy a home, you are investing in yourself and your own future, right? And it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, again, it's my opinion, the interest rate at the time, because one thing changes, that's the interest rate. Right. Your equity, most likely in a real world situation is going to grow. The longer you own your home, the more less you know interest you pay on your home, the more equity you get. And when you rent, you get nothing of that. You're actually investing in another person's future and another person's wealth. Absolutely. So I really get worried when people start putting out there, oh my gosh, the interest rates, the interest rates. No, no, no. Think about your opportunities. The opportunities are sellers want to sell, buyers want to buy. And that's it in a nutshell. Yeah. Okay. Just so put tell it me. There with no, filter. no, no, that was awesome. So tell me where you are in Georgia. What is your favorite part of it? What is the secret hidden gems that people, you know, don't automatically know? Right. So as I said, I work the normal, the northern suburbs of Atlanta. Um, so if you just go straight north from Atlanta, those are my burbs. I work the Alpharetta, Milton, Johns Creek, Roswell, Cumming. Those are kind of my bread and butter areas. Now, of course, as a real estate agent, you know, we kind of go beyond those boundaries as friends and referrals require. Um, right now, if you were asking me about the sweet spot to be looking at for buying and selling property, mostly buying property is going to be actually just west of, of my sweet spot, which is Cherokee County. Um, and the taxes are still low in Cherokee County. The builders are building in Cherokee County. So you're actually getting new build construction. Um, and the schools are great. And it's still within a reasonable commute if you have to commute into any part of the Atlanta area. Okay. So the commute is great still. Um, I mean, that's just, if I was going to do something right now, I'd be looking in that area if it were geographically reasonable. And I think it is. That's that's great. And that's what yeah. I want. That's what I want people to hear. Because yes. there's so many people in New York that are leaving. So if you're going to leave, I want you at least to be educated and know that I have amazing referral partners all over the country such as Melissa in Georgia, and you're going to see other people in other states. And, you know, we work really well together. We're going to, I'm going to help my client on this end, and you're going to take care of them on that end. Oh, absolutely. The best part about our relationships and our network, that ecosystem that we're part of, is the fact that I know that I call you to introduce you to my client. I know absolutely what's going to happen. I know that you're going to take care of them not just take care of them, but more and above the five-star service, that white glove service, you're going to be above and beyond because you want to just, you want to take care of them, but you also want to take care of me because those are exactly. my people. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. I think that's one of the benefits. And, you know, I think in other, in other situations, when you have someone that's moving, right, let's say they're just going to Denver and how do you get a real estate agent in Denver if you're in New York? Well, you get on the internet, but not everything on the internet is true, right? Right. And you're so, just, you're going by a guess rather than a personal recommendation. Right, right, right. So if you're with our network, our ecosystem, as we like to call it, you and I are connected. So that's Long Island to Georgia, right? You and I both know agents in Denver. We have people in Florida, people in Seattle. So it's, it's a huge opportunity um, for anybody that's moving either into or out of the area. That's wonderful. And Melissa... Like I said, anybody mentions Georgia, you are my go-to. So thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else you want to share? Anything about you personally, about your brokerage, about um, anything? That is, I just want everybody so awesome. to get a good, a good taste of who Melissa a, is. A good, a good taste of Melissa. Well, what you see is what you get. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I am this authentic person. When you walk into my office or we go, meet for a coffee, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get some information. You're going to get some guidance. You're probably going to get my personal opinion. Let's just say that's probably going to happen. Um, but I'll probably give you a very unfiltered view of what's going on. And um, I, if there's if there's anything, I mean, that's why we do what we do. We're here to help people and save others from bad real estate agents. Wonderful. <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll share your contact information when we publish this video. Please and do. I will I will chat with you soon.
All right, Liz, I'll talk to you later. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.